I am Megan Walker and we have reached the letter G in the A to Z of real time marketing. So G is all about goals, setting goals. So we are going to jump into some journeys and we're basically going to look at how we can set a goal. What is the purpose of this journey and then how can we actually show that we've met the goal or what's the percentage towards meeting the goal. So let's go ahead and take a look and we'll walk through setting up a goal and then we'll look at a goal um, on a journey that's previously been created so we can see how it looks as we kind of um, meet that goal. Okay, so we're on the journey page from within the real-time marketing area right here. So if we go ahead and we click to start a new journey, so a journey can be started based on either an event, which we'll look at in another video, which is all about event triggers. So something happens that triggers the event and then that start the journey or what you would be used to and that is the segment based journey so if I go ahead and I do a segment based journey for now and we will just call this uh, interaction journey and let's say that this is all about people that are um, subscribed to our newsletters we can then say, is this a one-time journey? Um, is this a one-time journey? So that would be just the people that are in that right now. Or is it something where as people go into that um, segment, they can take part? Or is it repeating? So for now, we're just going to do one time and we'll go ahead and we will start it this morning. So we're going to create this. Now, once we've got the, what's the initial starting point? So is it a segment or is it a, an event trigger? Then what we get over on the right hand side is we get this panel with the journey details. So we can see the start, that's the audience, who's going to be participating. Uh, frequency, so real time, uh, sorry, uh, recurring, one time, so on. And then when's the starting point? So then if we click here on the goal, we're then saying, well, what's the goal of this journey? What is the purpose? Why are we doing it? And there should always be a purpose, right? In marketing, sometimes it's a little frivolous, but mostly there should be a purpose as to why we are pushing out some kind of content or sharing some kind of information. So if we go ahead and we can select from some predefined goals. So here we've got drive a purchase, making a new sale or upgrading from free to premium, engaging customers, increasing loyalty and so on. So if I click on engage customers, it then says, okay, well, the goal is met when, and then we've got a list of event triggers. So when something happens in the system, so we'll come back to that one. Um, we then might say, okay, increasing loyalty. So with this one, we might say that the goal is to, if we're sending out a newsletter, the goal is to increase the loyalty or increase the interactions that we get from people. So I might say they completed an action um, and then we might say, okay, well, what is it that they've done? So they've clicked or they've gone to a website or, or whatever it might be. So what kind of action should be completed? Um, we've then got onboarding new people and send a general notification. I think this is going to be the one that I would use for this, for newsletters. And I might say the goal is met when a person clicked on at least one link or a person opened at least one message. So it might be that we are taking somebody on a journey and we're just sending one email and actually the email is going to have um, some links in there and as long as somebody's clicked on a link that will help towards our goal. So then what we can do is we can say okay well what's the number of people and that's going to be either the percentage or a specific number. So let's say that we want to say we want 100 people to have clicked on at least one link. So that is numerical and it, it's only going to make sense if we know how many people are in the actual segment. It's only going to make sense maybe if we've got like a static segment where we set up the specific people. What might make more sense is to say, actually, if we think about emails, you might get 22, 25% in terms of clicks, that kind of thing. So we might want to say our goal is that 25% rather than 25 people, 25% is needed to have clicked on links in order to have met the goal. So once we set up our goal, we then can see here that 
The goal here is to send a general notification. It's met when a person clicked on at least one link is accomplished and out of the total audience, 25% need to complete the action. So rather than just having a journey that we're just sending something out, this says, okay, we're specifying something here that needs to happen in order to have met our goal. So then we would go through and we would compile the, the journey and say, okay, we're going to send an email. What are we going to send and so on? So that's how we would be setting up the journey. Now, if I go back and I go into a journey that I've already done that has a goal on there, the goal right here, we can see was to engage customers and prevent churn. So with this, what I selected was that when an event trigger of an opportunity is created occurs, that goes towards achieving the goal for this specific journey. So we said the goal is met when opportunity created is accomplished. Out of the total audience, I don't know why 3%, I'm sure I meant to type 30, but 3% was needed to complete the action. So the way in which that works is because there's a contact in this journey, when we create an opportunity, the same contact, if I create an opportunity for a contact that's in that journey, it ties it together and says, oh, hang on, there's an opportunity that's being created. And this contact also exists in this journey. Therefore, we're going to use that action or that event, and we're going to use that to say, we've headed towards this goal here. So we can see that there were two, um, uh, we had two opportunities that were created and we only needed 3%, so that's fine, we met it. So 33% of the people that were um, in the journey, which is two, uh, had an opportunity that was created. So therefore the goal was met. So we can see clearly that we've met our goal for this journey. So this could be great for um, a journey that's all about increasing sales, um, a journey that might be about uh, creating leads, that kind of thing. So definitely consider setting up a goal, even if you're not sure to start with, there's no harm in having a goal in there. It's not like it's going to stop the journey if the goal is met. It's basically just saying, this was your goal. You achieved and accomplished this goal with this specific journey. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this a feature that you think you'll start using? What kind of goals do you think you want to set up? Um, and as we start to look at sort of the event triggers and actually creating some event triggers, that will also help to where you might think, oh, actually I could have an event trigger and if that was met, that would have achieved my goal. So we're tying all of this together bit by bit, piece by piece, video by video. So go ahead, if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.